Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Today I wanted to share with you my most recent haul from K Scented Notes. I have not ordered from K's since she switched over to clamshells. Um, so it has been quite a while. Um, K is definitely in my top five for vendors. Love, love, love her wax. Love Carla, her team. Um, her customer service, how easy it is to order from her site, the fast shipping, everything. I mean, A plus, A plus, A plus all around. So, I placed this order on November 24th, and it has been here for a few days. It is December 6th today. Um, so, she always packs an invoice. And I love that she puts a nice little personal message. Thank you, Susan, as always. Have a Merry Christmas, Carla. So, super nice. This isn't a huge order by any means. Um, but I try to stick to things that I have never tried from her before. I do have a couple repeats. So, when I get to those, I will tell you. But first, let's go over the samples. So, she sent... Um, a sample in Cracklin Birch, which it says coming soon, but I'm pretty sure, because this has sat for a couple days, that it is currently available on her website. And you should try this. It is citrus, patchouli, vetiver, tonka bean, and it's, uh, see when I first smelled it this time, I got like a slight perfume note, but it's spicy, it's crisp. This is really nice, and it's like in a star kind of snowflake. So, always, always, always appreciate samples. Um, this, I already warmed. This is in Unwind, and Unwind is eucalyptus, orange, rosemary, and peppermint oils. Oh, you guys, this is so good. So, this I warmed in my bedroom in one warmer. And then in the other warmer, I had some of Rose Girl's um, peppermint going. This was so strong and so good. This is like nasal clearing. And still so strong in the bag. I really, really love this. This was also, I mean, this was a hit. This is the only thing that I've warmed. So really good. Um, the next sample is in Hey Sailor. This is a ginormous sample. Um, Hay Sailor is Black Sea, Winter Linen, and Black Current Absinthe. So, this is definitely, you get the linen, you get her Black Sea. I don't know that I necessarily get absinthe, but this is nice. This will be a bedroom scent for sure, um, and this will be enough for both of the warmers in my bedroom. So that's a nice one as well. She sent Bewitched, and Bewitched is zucchini, carrot bread, spiced apple, and toasted mallow. Not the biggest fan of zucchini. Ooh, and that's really what hits you right in the face. <laughs> um, and I, this is nothing against any vendor. I just, zucchini comes across as either feet or Fritos to me. And this is like somewhere in the middle. But you do get a bit of like spiced from the carrot bread or the spiced apple maybe even. So, I mean, I'm definitely going to warm it because I have warmed a couple zucchini scents and I've actually liked them. So, um, so there's this. Sorry if you heard that. My teenager is in here and he just burped. So, I'm sorry about that. That was loud, John. Okay, so, Bewitched. And then the last sample that she sent, which I'm really excited for. This is Peppercorn Pomander, and this also says coming soon, but pretty sure that this is available now. It's Orange Peel Mandarin, Spicy Peppercorn and Clove 
leaf. Oh my gosh. This smells so like cold almost. Like a cooling, cooling citrus. If that, I don't even know if that makes sense. This is really, really nice. It's mostly orange peel. Orange peel and mandarin. I'm not selling clove leaf. I'm not getting like a peppercorn. So I'm sure that those lovely um, scents will come out when I warm this. So really happy with that. Always, always, always appreciate samples. Um, and then this, I mean, I've kind of flipped into it, but it, it was beautifully packaged. And I love that she always puts like your name on the box. So let us get into this. Like I said, not a huge haul because this girl does not need any more wax. So I, the drawer that I keep my K in, because I only have sunshot cups, is thinning out. And a lot of what I have left from K are spring and summer scents. So I had to Order some. Oh, whoops, sorry. There's another. There's another sample. This is in Crystal Lake. This is Midnight Waters, Pine Cones, and Autumn Flannel. Huge, 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 huge fan of her Autumn Flannel. I have like a big, well, at one point I had a couple of her, like the largest K cuts, and I know that I still probably have some in Sun Shots. I love her Autumn Flannel so much. It's so cozy and homey scent to me. So you definitely get the Midnight Waters in here, a little bit of the pine cone, and ever, ever, ever so slightly the flannel, the autumn flannel. So I may, um, I'll do this in my bedroom and then do extra autumn flannel in um, another warmer. So there's that. And I forgot that she sent a a York peppermint patty, and it's in a snowflake sheet. This is one of my most favorite, favorite candies, like chocolate-wise, but I'm trying not to eat candy, so that may go to one of the boys. And then her business card, always. Um, handcrafted, highly scented wax melt. Carla Meredith is the owner. It gives her email address, how to get to, how to find her group on Facebook. Um, her website, so fantastic. All right, let us get into the things that I purchased. Okay, so we have Christmas Lane. I've, I'm pretty sure you guys have never had this. This is eucalyptus, bergamot, cranberry, hints of amber, clove, and sherwood. And eucalyptus, I mean, that's a very strong scent, so that's really what you get. You do get a bit of the bergamot. I get amber and a little bit of cranberry, so. And I know that this, it, her, the wax isn't decorated or anything like that. Her sunshot cups weren't decorated either. I don't care, honestly. Um, I'm gonna melt this, and it's an easy cleanup when it doesn't have a bunch of stuff on it. Um, and as long as it performs, like, I like it. I don't care what it looks like. Like, the th shapes and stuff are cute. But it really, it honestly does not matter to me. Um, so, there's that. Next, I have Kevin. Which, obviously, from Home Alone. Mmm, this is delicious. This is Jack Frost, which is that um, icy peppermint. Mac apple and sugar cookie crunch. And it's in a pretty green wax. Yeah, and you get everything in here. And this is a house blend from her. So it's like a crisp sweet mint. You get the sugar cookies. Whew. And Mac apple, it's all in here. So this will be Another really good, good one. I did sniff these when I first got them, but now they've sat for a couple days, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next, I have Pink Marshmallow World. Definitely have never had this from Kay. This is Pink Sugar Marshmallow and Peppermint Stick. 
And this is also a house blend. Oh, this is yummy. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. You dip pink sugar first, and then the peppermint. And then I think that fluffy peppermint, fluffy marshmallow just kind of creams it all out and makes it even extra delicious. Then we have a tinsel and twinkle, which, you guys, I don't know if I'm crazy, but so this is the only one that came cracked. Again, seriously, I do not care because I'm just melting it. Um, this reminds me so much of Spice Grapefruit from Sensi, which I have not had in several years, but this is what I think of when I smell this. So I don't know if this is like a dupe because I'm pretty sure the, twi the Twisted, the Spice Grapefruit from Sensi doesn't even have grapefruit in it, but this is described as orange zest, grapefruit, cinnamon, clove bud, cedar leaves, sandalwood, and fir needles. This is just a beautiful, beautiful holiday scent. I tried this for the first time last year and I could not get enough of it. I had a lot of it um, and I enjoyed it so, so much. So yes, this one is a repeat. Um, I only picked up one clam, but we're okay. That is a really good one. I, that's a strong, I strongly recommend that one. Peppermint stick, because I do love peppermint. And this one does have like little bits of, like that tie dye effect. And then the bottom. So peppermint stick is just that. It's a sweet, sweet, strong peppermint, yummy. Oh, that bottom is so, that's like nose clearing on the bottom. When you just smell the top, not so much, but can never have too much peppermint, especially when it is good peppermint. And I have Winter Wonderland, which is winter berry, orange, cinnamon, vanilla, and hints of musk and clove. And you really get the musk. Winter berry, I don't know exactly what constitutes a winter berry. I'm trying to figure out if I smell clove. It's berry, it's citrus. And there's a spice. I'm guessing it's the cinnamon and the clove together. But I smell the musk in here. So, again, I don't think I've ever had this one. I don't know. Um, oh, I found another sample. The bottom. This is a Febreze. I do like laundry scents. Febreze isn't my most favorite. I know that that's like a spray. Like for your, oh my gosh, like upholstery stuff. This is nice. This will be good in the bathroom. It's nothing that I would like to seek out um, to get. Okay, where am I? Holiday Drive. Holiday Drive, where are you? The things that I could find scent notes on. All right, so Holiday Drive. Oh, it has it on here. Fraser Fur, Espresso, and Bake Shop. Mmm, delicious. You get the coffee, the espresso right up the tree, and like walking into a bakery. Walking into a bakery to pick up your coffee where they have a real Christmas tree up. That's what this is. This is yummy. Again, I should have picked up more, but I don't need it. Um, then we have Winter Citrus Wreath, which I have had many, many, many times. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, it's so good. It's Winterberry. No, it's not. It is Balsam Wreath Fresh Citrus. Forest Breeze, and this is the Bath and Body Works dupe. Oh, this is just citrusy deliciousness with tree. Oh, it's so good, you guys. This is refreshing and uplifting and clean and fresh and outdoorsy, and it's delicious. And there's 
there's no spice. So, so good. Another one, highly recommend. Repeat, repeat, per repurchase so many times. Really, really good. Bonsai is a repeat. It's the only one that I bought two of because I seriously love this. Oh my God, it's so good. It is so, 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 so good. Bonsai is citrus, lime, and pine, cedarwood, and a hint of floral, sophisticated zen scent. To me, this does not come across as floral. It doesn't. Um, it's clean. It's citrus. Bit of tree. And cedar. It's not... Oh, I love it so much. I love this. So this one I did pick up to forever or repurchase. This is great. It's just great. And one cube, I mean, it lasts forever and ever and ever. You get your money's worth and then some. Which I don't think I mentioned. Her clamshells are $3.25. So not to say anything about any other vendors or anything like that, but the more stuff you put onto your wax, you know, the embeds or the cute little things, it kind of drives the price up because it's more labor and it's more supplies needed. So I would rather have a plain looking clamshell for $3.25. I'm just saying, that's just my, my opinion. It's wax, it gets melted and I never even remember what was on them. Anyway, okay, Outback Mates. Never tried this. And you guys, I don't know what the scent notes are. I didn't. And this, I think, might be my least favorite. On cold. I can't even tell you what I smell. There's like a menthol. I want to say eucalyptus. Um, and like a citrus, I feel. But all, I'm getting very strong, like mint. But I'm having a hard time smelling anything else. So I don't know what's in here. If you guys know and you've tried it, I'm not, it's not terrible or anything like that. It's just, it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, obviously, I'm going to warm it. I'm seeing, and it could end up being a fade. All right. What else do I have? Oh, Greenhouse. Yeah, because um, for some reason, I don't think I've ever had this from her. I know I've had like her, like tomato vine or on the vine and dirt and all those things because I love those and like the fresh garden and the garden mint and all those things. But I've never had greenhouse from her that I can remember. I don't know, is this one a newer one? It's sweet basil, peppermint leaf, flower buds, thyme, palm leaves, woods, amber, marigold, violet, and fresh potting soil. And yes, you get the fresh potting soil as soon as you stick your nose in it. And then a mix of the different herbs and flowers. It is exactly that. Going to, walking through a greenhouse. So this one I will most likely hang on to until the spring. Unless I get a craving for it. After melting all of these, um, you know, bakery heavy and tree heavy scents. Um, Prince Albert. Okay, so this is also a repeat. I love this one as well. Oh, it's fresh leaf tobacco from the red can. Prince Albert tobacco. Oh, it's so good. Creamy vanilla, dark brown sugar, smoky tobacco, and mahogany wood. This is so amazing. It doesn't give a, I think sometimes when people hear tobacco scents, they think it's going to smell like, like a lit cigarette or a pipe that's burning. That's not, you know, it doesn't give you any type of like, um, like campfire scent. It's nothing like that. It's actually the fresh tobacco, like, oh, it smells so good. I love this one a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, what do we have next? Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Again, a repeat because I love this. And 
I am one of those people. I'm not sick of the scent yet because when it first came out and people were going crazy over it, I didn't buy it for the longest time. I think I've only really been buying the Boardwalk uh, Marshmallow Clouds for like a year or something. And I have not burned myself out on it. Knock on wood. Yeah. Knock on wood. Um, so it is sugared vanilla, marshmallow meringue, white magnolia, and sandalwood. It's a Bath and Body Works type. And I love it. It's like girly and fun. And I don't know, just like, it's a good mood. Puts you in a good mood. I only have this one clam, I, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, I have it from other vendors. And I also, I'm pretty sure I still have some of it in her sunshot cups. I love warming that in um, my bedroom. And then last but not least, because I've never tried Kay's pumpkin pecan waffles because I've never been a fan of it. Because the candle from Bath and Body Works, smelling that kind of ruins it for me. And I didn't like it. And then I tried it from like, I've had it in samples from a couple different vendors. And then I bought it from Ava's and I'm in love. So I wanted to try Kay's. And hers is vanilla, vanilla pumpkin waffles, brown sugar, pecans, fresh whipped cream. And this is um, her version of the Bath and Body Works type. And it smells good to me. So I think, I think I'm going to like it. So there is that. So like I said, you guys, not a crazy big haul. I'm really trying to be... Um, more aware of what I'm buying. I don't, I'm definitely by no means buying any more storage, no more drawers to house my wax in. So as I work through things from vendors and space opens up, then and only then will I be purchasing. I just, um, I had a few months there where I felt very overwhelmed and my wax felt out of control and now I'm back in a place where um, I feel like I melt through so much stuff that um, I'm not feeling overwhelmed and I don't want to do that to myself again. So that's why you really haven't seen calls from me lately. Um, it's so easy to like watch other people's videos, like all my waxy friends videos that I watch and I see the stuff that they buy. I want to, you know, but then I just have to tell myself like, nope, you do not need this this week or See if you're still wanting it next week. Like, see if the craving for it passes. So, that is everything, you guys. I so appreciate you taking the time out to watch my video. I need to do an empties video because I'm behind on that. I also need to do... I have an L3 haul. Tiny. Um, it's mostly like the hair and body care side of it. I need to do that. Um, so, just try to, like... As you can see, I'm not filming in my closet today because my house is quiet. My youngest isn't home from school yet, and my oldest um, is, um, I told him I was going to be doing a video down here. So after he burped rudely, he went upstairs, and my husband is traveling this week, so I love to be able to just be um, downstairs and be able to spread my stuff out and talk about wax. So you may or may not see another video for me today, um, but there are more coming. I do have a couple hauls coming too as well. So that's everything you guys. Again, thank you so much. I hope that you are having an amazing Monday or whatever day it is that you are watching this video. And take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.